All right, this video is our first attempt at flipping the classroom. All right, you should be watching this video on Tuesdays. I'm gonna leave instructions with your teachers to have you watch this video, and I want you to take notes on it. I will be checking your notes. I'm gonna go around with a check sheet and give a grade for everybody that's got their notes written down on Wednesday. All right, this is elimination. This is what we start in class. Some of you are getting it. Some of it, you, some of you are struggling with it. But with this video, you can do this on your own time, and you're not sitting 45 foot away in the back of the room looking at it. So take your time with this. Write notes down. If something's confusing, hit pause, rewind, and watch it again. I'll try to go through this nice and slow so you can uh, follow. All right, system of equations. This is elimination like we had for graphing. And again, with substitution, here are two equations. All right. This is like the first level of elimination. This is when you've got two numbers that are sort of like opposites, all right? So I've got negative 3x plus 5y equals negative 11. And I've got uh, 3x plus 7y equals minus 1, all right? So I'm going to add these two equations together because... The minus 3x and the 3x are opposites. If you add those together, you get 0. Okay? There's really no sense writing 0 down, so I'm just going to erase it to keep from, just keep things simpler. 5y plus 7y gives me 12y. Right? Negative 11 plus negative 1 gives you negative 12. If you're not feeling comfortable with negatives, use your calculator. Make your calculator your friend. All right, to solve for this, I divide both sides by 12. On the left, the 12s cancel out. All right, on the right, 12, negative 12 divided by 12 gives you negative 1. All right. So I've solved for y. y equals negative 1. I'm going to erase all this stuff. All right. Now I'm going to solve for x. I know that y equals negative 1. I can take either one of these equations. I can take this equation or I can take this equation and put negative 1 into it and solve for x. I'm going to take the one on the bottom. I'm going to take 3x plus 7y, but I know y equals negative 1, equals negative 1. All right, solve for this, I get 3x, 7 times negative 1 is going to give me negative 7, equals negative 1. All right. I add 7 to both sides to get rid of this minus 7, and I end up with 3x equals 6. Divide both sides by 3. I end up with x equals 2. I'll put that up here. x equals 2. All right, if any of this confused you, stop the video, rewind it, and watch it again. All right, here's our second problem with elimination. All right, it looks a lot. It looks fairly similar to the one that we just did, except there's one problem. Okay, in the x's, all right, there's nothing that eliminates. There's no minus four x to pair with the four x. There's no. There's nothing to eliminate there. All right. In the y's, okay, there's nothing to eliminate there either. You got plus 2y, if you add that to, uh, po you know, you get positive 2y, and if you added that to positive 2y, you end up with 4y. So there is something we can do here, all right? All right, I can make, I can make these problems where you have that opposite thing going on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything 
on this row times negative 1. All right, watch what happens when I do that. I end up with minus 5x minus 2y minus 16. All right, I just multiplied everything on that second row times negative 1. All right, now that I've done that, I don't need anything in that second row. I am just going to erase everything. Okay, I kept the proportions the same. I just multiplied by everything by negative 1. All right, now I've got the negative thing. I've got the opposite thing going on. I've got positive 2y and negative 2y. All right, so I'm going to add these together now. If I had positive 2y and negative 2y, I get 0. And we all know by now there's no sense in writing that down. All right, let's add this together. 4x plus negative 5x gives us negative x equals 14 plus negative 16. All right, that gives us negative 2. All right, this doesn't work because I've got negative x equals negative 2. If I multiply both sides by negative 1, watch what happens. I get x equals 2. Negative 1 times negative x gives me positive x. Negative 2 times negative 1 gives me 2. So I've got one of my answers here. x equals 2. All right, I can erase all this. I don't need it anymore. I need to solve for y. So I'm going to put x back into one of these equations. All right, I like this one because it's all positives. So let me put x back into that. That would be 4. I'm substituting 2 inside of the first equation equals plus 2 y equals 14. All right, doing the math on this, 4 times 2 equals 8, plus 2y equals 14. All right, I subtract 8 from both sides. All right, I get 2y equals 6. I divide both sides by 2. That cancels out. I'm left with 6 divided by 2 equals 3. y equals 3. There's my answer. x equals 2, y equals 3. Again, if you need to, pause the video, watch it again. All right, here's our third problem. All right, I've got 3x plus 4y equals 52. 5x plus y equals 30. You probably need a calculator to work through this because we'll be working with some higher numbers. The steps and the procedures you take are still the same, just the number is a little higher. All right, I'm looking at these, and I don't have anything that eliminates. All right, 3x plus 5x gives me 8x. 4y plus y gives me 5y. Nothing eliminates. All right, I'm going to have to modify one of these to make these two equations work for elimination. All right, I see what I have to do. I want to do something to the second one to make it eliminate with the first one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 4 on the second one. All right, if I do that, I get minus 20x because I multiplied negative 4 times 5x, that gives me negative 20x, all right? Negative 4 times positive y gives me minus 4y equals 30 times negative 4 is going to give me negative 120. All right, I've got something I can work with here. 
just to keep things from getting complicated, I am going to erase this stuff in the middle. I don't need this line anymore. I've modified it to something I could work with. I don't need it anymore. All right, let's add these together. 3x plus negative 20x is going to give me minus 17x. All right, if you're not comfortable with that, put that in your calculator. 3 plus negative 20 will give you negative 17. All right, plus 4y minus 4y gives me 0. All right. All right, if I had 52 and minus 120, I get minus 68. All right, now I want to divide both sides by negative 17. Negative 17. These two cancel out. I'm left with x equals negative 68 divided by negative 17 gives me negative 4. All right, so I've got my first one. I'm going to write it up here. x equals negative 4. Still have to solve for y. I'm going to erase all this to keep, it, to keep things from being confusing. All right, I'm going to put negative 4 back into one of these two equations. I always like to deal with the ones with the positives, so I'm going to pick this one. Okay, 3x, whoops, I'm sorry x equals negative 4, I'm solving for y, okay, plus 4y equals 52, okay, 3 times negative 4 gives me negative 12, plus 4y equals 52, all right, I want to add 12 to both sides, I end up with 4y equals 64. All right, divide both sides by 4. Okay, 4, 64 divided by 14 gives me 16. So y equals 16. x equals negative 4, y equals 16. There's my two answers right there. All right, that's it for this uh, for uh, for this video. I've got the three problems. On Wednesday, I expect you to show me notes from the video. All right, I'm going to walk around and check it. I mean, I expect to see all three problems worked out on your notes. If you have them, I'm going to give you a check mark. If not, I'm going to leave it blank. This is going to be part of your grade. Okay, so it will be a grade. Uh, number two, work on your worksheet from Monday. All right, after having these videos, you might have a better understanding of that, of what we did on Monday. So work on that worksheet. All right, and three, have questions for me. That's part of flipping the classroom is that you're supposed to come in ready to work or have questions. All right, good luck, and I will see some of you on Tuesday. The rest of you I will see on Wednesday.